Hey guys, Moran Pobert here, and in this video, I'm going to show with you what is the one document you need to sign in order to build immediate rapport with the owner. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember, I'm talking in this channel in general about how we buy businesses and make sure we have other people run those businesses for us and how you can do that with little money or experience. And that's why we're going to talk to owners. I'm talking business owners, people who potentially looking to sell their business and how you can build rapport with them so they will share everything you want on their business so you can make a better decision of in and what kind of offer to make on their deals. So remember, if you like this type of content, definitely subscribe if you didn't yet. Let me know in the comments below what you think and like this uh, video and hit the notification button. I, I know it's important to grow the channel. Guys, I, I love the feedback that I'm getting from you. I'm getting lots of emails. Even this, the channel is, is so small. It, it's really, really interesting to see what kind of feedback I'm getting and I mean the amount of feedback that I'm getting. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, let me know what kind of content you want me to, to talk about. Let me know. Maybe I should make it more personal, more about my story and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm happy to share whatever I want, whatever you want. Sorry. And remember, this channel is mostly for me sharing my document, my, my journey, uh, my English today. I don't know, but yeah, me sharing my journey and just hoping that I could give you a lot of value. Like I learned so much about this space over the last few years from many, many mentors that I paid a lot of money to learn from. And I wish that my learning curve was shorter. So I really want to help some of you guys who potentially want to get into this space of buying businesses, owning businesses and getting to a point where you have a portfolio of different businesses where you can go grow them, be involved in many different things at the same time and still have management team in each of those businesses while you being the one taking care of the vision of the whole group. This is what I want you guys to do. I think it's in my opinion, the best business model out there. Uh, watch my other videos if you didn't yet about why I think this is much better than starting a business and startup in general. And and yeah, remember, by the way, see the description below. Some of you guys emailed me if you want to get or, or want to work with me closely. Um, we open, in just not just me, me and my team, our company, we open few spots for you guys to watch our back while we go out there and do deals. And now you can potentially get equity for basically helping us and you could learn the process as well of uh, doing everything from finding businesses, talking to businesses, um, obviously making offers, negotiation, raising capital, doing due diligence, and then obviously growing the business. So if you want to learn more about that space, definitely get in touch and um, I'll see if, if you guys qualify. We pick a few people every now and then. And it, again, my agenda here is to do more deals in the, in the end of the day and buy more companies. So if I can help you, few of you guys on the way, why not just get in touch and I'm, I'm happy to, to we'll, we'll just give you more info on that. So yeah, if you're in this video, again, this video is about the document you need to sign. It's probably gonna be a pretty short video. It's about the document you need to sign in order to build rapport. So I'm assuming that you already found few opportunities on businesses you wanna buy. You had a kind of a, an initial meeting. Obviously, you had the filter of the deals that you looked at initially, and then you filtered them based on the location, your experience, the type of business, obviously, what kind of revenues it's doing, and you compare that to your goals. So I'm assuming you did that already. And now you're at a point where you already get to a point where you're potentially doing some meetings. And the question now is, how do I get more information from the business owner in order for me to be able to evaluate if that business is a business that, first of all, I can buy, and secondly, I even want to buy. And the way we do it is we need to build rapport. How we do it? We sign uh, a confidential agreement, uh, what we call an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. And that, that agreement is pretty magical. Whenever we sign that, we're pretty much allowed to get access to very confidential information in that business. Now you need to understand those business owners, again, they own businesses for many, many years. They feel really, it's, it's like their baby. They don't want to share everything with just anyone, right? So they got to make sure that there's somehow or, or some way to protect them in case of someone coming into the business, seeing all that info and going to do something with it. So the NDA is there to basically protect them from you coming in, seeing all their, all pretty much everything about their business and stealing it. Now NDAs, like just to give you an idea, I'm signing in, in my peak, I signed probably 10, 20 NDAs a day, just some deals that I needed to look for. So don't be, don't be worried about signing those NDAs. Don't spend time reading them too much. 
It's just a very normal procedure when you're working with business owner. Uh, I remember the first, probably the first NDA that I got, I remember walking through every line and every detail and just making sure that I'm not being hurt in any way. Um, in the end of the day, those NDAs not really worth the, pa the, the paper they, they're written on. Uh, it's just like, it's more of a way to build rapport with the owner. So just sign them and move forward. Um, many businesses will already have their own version of an NDA. So you can go in and just sign their version. What I like to tell business owners is that, like, like literally just a, as a way to build rapport, what I tell them is, hey, I don't wanna ask you too many questions. I don't, we didn't sign an NDA yet, so I'm happy to send you our version of NDA and, and sign it, or if you want, if you have your version, feel free to send it and I'll sign it uh, as well. Um, I'm happy to do what I, whatever you want for you to feel comfortable, share with me um, the info. Obviously, we wanna move forward with this deal, but we need more info, so this is uh, a, a great way for us to obviously make sure we both feel comfortable moving forward. So you can say something like that to just make sure that the owner, first of all, as soon as you say something like that, he can understand, hey, this guy is serious. He understands there's process to doing those deals. So obviously NDA is one of them. And just mention that and move forward. And the fact that you have your own version, many times just show that you're serious and that you're organized and that you're just not a random amateur person who never talked about deals. So it's always good to have your own version to, to send them to sign or for you to sign. Obviously, you sign and they sign. And if you want uh, an NDA, uh, comment below with your email and I'll, I'm happy to send the, the NDA that we, we have, that we are using um, to your email. Just comment below with your email and I'll send it to you. Now with most NDAs, you can still share the info that you're getting from the business with your accountants, lawyers, and advisors. Again, it re really depends on the NDA. Um, I know in the version that we're using, if both side, side sign on that, obviously, if you follow my NDA, then yeah, you can still share the info with the accountants, your lawyers, your consultants, if they didn't sign the agreement, if they didn't sign it at all, it's okay that you share it with them. Uh, when you ever you say, whenever you sign someone else NDA, um, make sure you have that in there. Obviously, consult with your lawyer and all that. With brokers, if you're dealing with business business brokers, many times they just have their own version, so you just sign them. Um, so each one have their own version. It's okay, just sign them. Remember, your only goal with NDA is to build more rapport and get to a point where you can get access to uh, the actual data that you need on that business. So yeah, like I said, um, in my pick now I have assistants helping me with that. But initially, I remember signing so many NDAs every day that alone can be annoying. So that's why it's so important that you watch the other videos on how we actually filter through the deals. Because many times signing 20 NDAs a day, that alone can take you some time. I mean, at least like 20 minutes, I guess, until you download the NDA, sign, upload it again. I mean, it's just annoying time, right? So don't go into every deal. Uh, make sure you filter them somehow so you want to sign 20, 30 NDAs a day. And after we get the NDA, the goal is to get financials. And it just, we just need basic financials, you know, like latest, like ideally last three years of accounts, latest balance sheet. You want to have some kind of forecast for the business ideally. Obviously, it depends on how much the seller is willing to share with you in the initial stage. But ideally, you want some uh, details about the clients, the employees, um, some kind of understanding how they're getting uh, sales, what product they're selling the most, just like everything just think what do you need to know about a business in you to understand everything about the business and that's something that eventually that's the info that you need after you sign the nda that's the goal of the nda to get all that info now i just have to say even with ndas and i think i mentioned it in one of my other videos there are still some kind of horror stories of competitors trying to buy businesses and literally stealing everything from them even when they sign, even while being under an NDA. And it's it just so easy, so simple. Like I heard people literally signing an NDA as if they're going to buy a business and then still stealing their employees, offering them double salaries, stealing their list of clients, offering them better, uh, I guess, bigger discounts for a similar product. So even if you sign an NDA, remember what's more important is you positioning yourself right in front of the owner. And I, I had a video on that, on how to have a meeting with owners, how to make sure you position yourself as the someone who's a safe pair of hands, someone who really care about their business. Remember, it's much more important than the end and NDA that you sign. In the end of the day, business is we're people. It's about working with people you trust and like. So it's much more important than the NDA. NDA is just another part of the process in order to you moving forward with the deal. Um, yeah, so 
pretty short video. I hope you liked it. Comment below with your email if you want me to send you the NDA that we're using and let me know, just give me any feedback you want, what videos you want me to post on. Let me know if you, if you like this type of content and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon.